mage, it's a bit higher than what I usually go for, but I should be experiencing a slight bit more lag than most other servers. Now, you have to remember though, this server is only in alpha. Like, so you are going to get a lot of lag, it's just going to be one of them things, you just got to bear with it. Rust is still only in extremely, like, early development, but it is just one of them things. They are going to be doing, oh god, I'm already hitting radiation, so there's out of the question then. And I didn't know that this was a rock node that went straight past. See, I wasn't even paying attention. And I should be paying attention. It's what I do best. Oh, wow. It's three. <laughs> three rock nodes. That just has now given me all of this lovely stuff, which I can use to build lanterns, more ammunition. You know, everything I'm going to need to survive. That's what this stuff was trying to give me, and I just went straight past it like a, like a dirt. You know? So... But I definitely do want to be on a hill though, because the hills are going to be very important for survival. Because if you're on a hill and someone's running at you from below, you'll be able to see them and light them up like a Christmas tree. Whether you're on an equal playing field or they're coming at you. And so if you put yourself in a valley and there's hills next to you, you're at a disadvantage because they can see down on top of you. You can't necessarily see them. But as long as you're higher than the person who's attacking you, which this is military tactics 101. Be higher than your opponent because you, you can see them a lot more easier. You can kill them a lot more easier. And I definitely want to have that advantage in this game. Because this game is just one of them goddamn games when I'm experiencing lag game. What is with the lag? Come on. I want this rock. I'll keep running around and hitting it. I want... Oh my god, these... These look like two like giant testicles. Oh my god, the gods. They have big balls. Come on. Hit. 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 Oh, I knew it was going to kick me off. I knew that was a kickoff one. I just, I had a feeling, you know. What a feeling. Let's believe that. Come on. You sack of donkey poo. What are you doing? So, and the search isn't working on this one either. However, if I do this, I might be able to be able to see it a bit more quickly. Okay, so A B C D E F G. Oh, I think I went past it. Okay, so the NATO isn't on there now. So obviously it was a server crash. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, you lag me a long time. I feel like I've just been shafted right now. Come on, NL peaceful. I'm looking for NATO. So I slash that stupid comma thing NATO. I got New York. New York. New New York. Uh it's not gonna let me have it, is it? Ah, uh, back to the drawing board. And I really did like that server then. I really did like it because it had everything that I'd I'd wanna start off with. Everything was kind of just there. And I didn't have to worry about like getting started up like with no weapons or anything because I had it off and now I can't go and do that because it's being a bar steward yes I meant to say okay <sighs> now, now I'm stuck again on what, what service to kind of play on 10 times build 5 times go no 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 why can't that say 10 times gather? But I don't want to spend half half an episode just getting trees for you guys. However, I'm probably going to spend half an episode now to try and pick something. So rather than bore you with this, 
Uh, this is where I'm going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I'm sorry about this, guys. Hopefully by next episode I'll be in a server. In fact, I guarantee you I will be. And then hopefully we can get ourselves situated. And yeah, but I thought as well I'll show you this episode just because you can kind of see Rust is still only very early in development at the minute. It is only an alpha. And sometimes you just got to grit your teeth with it. Like, like this, you just got to grit your teeth with it. It is a good game, but only when it works. And uh, take that with a pinch of salt, or just take that as you will. That is my own personal views. Your views may differ. But thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, my name is Zeus Maximus. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now. Finger of power. Kapoor! And we are done recording for the episode. So, guys, as you can see, this is all behind the scenes now, so this is off camera. Oh my god. <laughs> this game does my absolute nothing. Like, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love playing this game. That's what I said to you, well, what, what I said in the main video. I absolutely love this game. I do have a small passion for it. But when it doesn't work, and sometimes you've just got to really kind of grit your teeth with it because. It's just one of them things that, you know, it's it's laggy at best. At, at, well, it's laggy at the best of times, and it doesn't want to work. And sometimes you just got to really kind of grit your teeth. Now, I had a, a request from from one of my viewers asking me to play Rust uh, Legacy, which, to be fair. I think I'm going to go and do right now, so I'm going to give them a bit of an episode change, but not complete change, and then I'll just update the uh, the description to, to to go with Legacy as well. Okay, you know what? We're, we're going to go back old school. I want to go back to play Rust Legacy. Now I might have to uh, re do this on the live stream. Okay, let's have the fantastic. Okay, you guys won't be able to say anything right now. Okay, let's let's see. Play. Yeah, you guys won't be able to see that. However, what I can do is add screen capture to that. There you go. Now you guys can see that. You guys won't be able to see me for a minute. That's because I just need to do some backstreet magic. You start see everything appearing on me now. Awesome stuff. So, here we go. So this is a, a request from a viewer that I'm going to do for my next episode. So, making sure that's all okay. Yeah, so there we go. So, I'm still putting out for that. That's awesome. Okay. I've not been on this for a very, very long time, so you do have to bear with me. Now, I just got a message some of my friends back, so just give me a quick second. Uh, sounds great. Okay, that's sent. I thought my internet got out on my phone then. Okay. So, now since since we're on this, I'm making sure that I'm actually live streaming with this as well. Yeah, everything's up and running on my live stream. Which is awesome stuff. So, I'm going to have a look and see how many people saw Russia Full Classic. <laughs> I don't think so. Door claws, Insta. See, I actually don't have an idea on what is best to start off with <laughs> on this one because I haven't been onto this game mod for a very, very long time. Now, Battle of Rust is just a big free-for-all. 
where everyone kills anyone. So I'm just going to have a look on this game. And I don't think I'm going to record an episode for this just yet. Because I want to see if it's going to be appropriate for my viewers. But fa Battlefield Rust, um, I just went on the NATO Battlefield, but on the Rust. Uh, <coughs> what, what, whatever you call it. Oh god. So it's tab for the inventory. But I can't. Why, why is my screen all messed up? One second guys, I need to exit this because all my screen is like really bunched together. And I actually don't really know why. Uh, Rust Legacy. Well it says it's on a th on my full resolution. Must just be the game, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, God damn people. You know, and this is what, what it's like with me now. This is all behind the scenes, guys. I told you. I'm not editing anything out. You guys are going to see what I go through on a day to day basis. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Mouse sensitivity. Okay, that's what I wanted to change as well. Whilst I was here. Okay, I need to change these around because I haven't obviously played on this for a while. Left, right, up, down, jump, duck, OBF, laser. Yeah, that's fine. Ah. Uh, Yeah, uh, E, Q, flashlight, middle, mouse point 2. Oh, actually, I'll change that to L, and then I'll change that to mouse point 2. There we go. Okay, let's apply the changes. Okay, play the game. Okay, so I've got a friend who's playing on that, Rust in Peace. Uh, I don't know who my friend is who's playing on that. But it's 183 ping, so I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. Okay, so that's what was going on. So let's uh, see if this is a proper. Actually, oh, five times gather custom loot, insta craft. Oh, that actually looks really good for this one. Okay, I my phone, I think I just got a, a text message. Okay, I've replied to that in a minute. Oh wow, okay, so it's already giving me this. Wow, um, this feels really kind of weird to play on. Like, this actually feels really weird <laughs> to play on. Oh wow, you can tell I've not been on this for a while. Jesus. At least it takes one off you. Okay. Oh wow, well, this game feels really primitive right now. This game feels really primitive. And it's only giving you one wood. How many wood do you need for things? I've actually gone off dirt tower, I can't remember. Oh yeah, you, you don't collect wood like that, do you? No, 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 no. You have to go and get the, the wood nods. I forgot about that. Okay, drop some supplies off there, but... Okay, so you don't hit the trees. You have to look for the, <laughs> to the, for the uh, wood nods. Oh my god. Wow, <laughs> this game is really... Really primitive. Yeah, and you've got to turn all the wood that you do have into wooden planks. And it's 10 wood per wood plank, and then you can use that, then, if I remember correctly, to build, like, a wood foundation. And you need 8 wood planks to do that. Yeah, yeah. 
I remember now. I do remember. And these balls don't just like fall like a range, for example. <laughs> yeah, I remember all of this. Now, it, it's coming back to me extremely slowly. Okay. Wow, I've not been on this for a while. You know what? This might come in handy. Don't know why, but it might. <laughs> I'm just getting attacked from everywhere for no reason whatsoever. He just like came in and just attacked me. Wow, these people are idiots. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> I guess I'm getting some good stuff, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. I'm trying to use my knowledge of Rust as is to, to play this game. Like how Rust actually is. Here we go. What the hell? Okay. So animal fat. Cloth, I remember this now. It's all coming back to me slowly. I just haven't played this for an extremely long time. Oh, grass dot on false, if I remember correctly. There we go. That's awesome. Oh, I just got a message. Well, that was an email on my phone just going. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've not remembered this game in a long time. Guy up there. Oh crap. Oh god. I need to really like it. I'm shooting at him. <laughs> Oh wow, I remember when Borg used to do this. This this is coming this is bringing back a lot of memories for me right now. I remember when Borg used to like fire that, that far away and didn't just have the, the, the poxy little boot that they do now, it actually fired properly. Wow that that's bringing this game is bringing back a lot of fun memories for me. And I don't know where I am. Like I can't remember. <laughs> I haven't got anything situated yet. There's so many people around. And people are just trying to kill you for whatever reason. Oh my god, yeah, these big ass bases. Yeah, I remember when people used to build things like this. This, this is awesome. <laughs> just goes to show that the, the Rust Legacy isn't dead yet. Like, loads of people do still prefer to build Rust Legacy over Rust. Normal. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Oh wow, it's like some kind of fight went on here. Oh wow, okay. So, wow, this is, it almost feels like I've gone back to like a, like a, like to Rust school again. Because everything I know of playing Rust is actually from this build, this, this, this server. Oh yeah, I know where I am now. Yeah, because me and my friends used to build over there all the time. Okay. So yeah, this this is Rust. Like, oh my god, this is actually original Rust. The one that, that made headlines, and I can't believe just how far the graphics were back on this. And then I remember playing it, and I used to remember like, oh my god, the graphics are so amazing. And then compared to this to new Rust, it's kind of like, are these graphics? <laughs> oh my god. 
actually does feel like I'm, I'm playing like a really old janky game. <laughs> but he said this, these graphics were so amazing though. I really did. I really did. Oh wow. This, this is bringing back a lot of memories and it's making me smile. It really, really, really is. I know it's really, it really, really is. I want to first... Oh my god. Here's something for you guys. When I... When I first started playing this original version of Rust, like, my graphic settings at the time, I originally played this on a laptop, that's how far I'm going back now, and I could only get around about 15, maybe 20 frames a second if I was lucky. Then when I had a better computer, I was playing on a Core Duo 2, which is a, a, which is a two core processor. Oh god. I think it takes like four arrows. Oh god. Yeah, then you run back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I'll play this on a on a dual core processor and when I had a better computer. And I had oh my god. An ATI radio 5770. I think it was something along the lines of that. It was a really, it's like a really old a GP, uh, graphics processing unit, uh, a GPU, so a graphics card, in other words. It was like a really old one, and oh my god, and when I upgraded to that, I think I got 45 frames per second, at best, if I remember correctly. It was, it was really, really bad. <laughs> and I remember, like, when the first build of F7 came out, and I got it, and... Like, all rocks look exactly the same. Like, all rocks look exactly the same, you know. It's, this game is really taking me back now. Like... Oh. Who's over there? <laughs> Looks like someone's just tried breaking in for no reason. And they're knocking that entire base down. <laughs> Obviously, a hacker. Oh, god damn it. They uh, upgraded the birds as well. I remember these being more brown. Right now, it just looks more like a bloody teddy than anything. 